Lena Dunham is best known for starring in and executive producing the hit series Girls on HBO. But she's recently been in the spotlight for another reason. She's one of the public faces of a very private disease called endometriosis. Some of Hollywood's biggest stars came out to support the cause in an effort to raise money and awareness about an issue that affects so many women, but they say receives so little attention. Dunham, actress Susan Sarandon, and supermodel and Top Chef co-host Padma Lakshmi are part of the one in ten women in the United States who suffers from endometriosis. It's a disease that causes one of the biggest strains on the workplace as well, upwards of $119 billion, including mostly loss of workplace productivity. One study revealed that women lose about 10 hours or one day of work per week as a result of symptoms and having to take time off for doctor's appointments. Oftentimes, it's a debilitating condition where uterine tissue grows in places where it shouldn't, sometimes affecting other organs and causing severe pain, especially during women's menstrual cycles. It's also one of the leading causes of infertility among women, but many don't know it because the disease can only be definitively diagnosed through laparoscopic surgery. Physicians who perform the procedure say the surgery itself is more complicated than a hysterectomy. But many say getting insurance to cover all the costs is often the hardest part. Insurance compensation for endometriosis does not recognize the disease to its complexity. It's a benign disease. However, it acts like a malignant disease. It takes on average about seven to 10 years to diagnose. And each case is different. Some women have painful symptoms and some have none at all. The taxpayer dollar spent to fight the disease has slowly risen from $7 million in 2014 to $11 million this year. Figures that outrage those who struggle with the disease. That's totally, totally criminal, you know, and hopefully that will change. Compare that with obesity-related research, which will get $931 million this year. Lupus, which about one out of every 500 people are diagnosed with, 93 million. Schizophrenia, which affects about 1% of the U.S. population, will receive $251 million. Studies show that those who suffer from endometriosis are also at higher risk of getting ovarian cancer and heart disease. We need to change the way we think about women's periods. You know, we need to be able to talk about it, get rid of the stigma, and just deal with it just like we do, you know, prostate cancer or erectile dysfunction. You know, we have no problem with putting commercials of that at 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock primetime programming, but God forbid we should talk about a disease that affects half the population during their childbearing years and actually originates where all human life originates. Dina Gosofsky, CNBC Business News. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.